When we think about diseases and illnesses and medical conditions, and we think about treatment for those conditions, we typically think about medications. But when it comes to caring for someone with dementia, and we start looking at treatment strategies, we really have to weigh the benefits between communication and also medication. So in this three-part series, we're gonna be looking at diagnosis and medications, but we're also gonna look at behaviors and communication strategies. When we think about diagnosis, let's start there. Dementia itself is not the diagnosis. I know, I know you're saying, what? It's not. Dementia itself is a group of symptoms or a set of behaviors that a person displays as a result of having a medical condition or a mental health condition, which is also a medical condition, impairing their mental capacity, their intellectual ability. When we think about the dementia symptoms or dementia as a symptom, we can kind of relate that to a cough. A cough is a symptom of an underlying condition, such as a respiratory infection. So the cough is similar to dementia. The respiratory infection though, that is one cause of that cough. When we think about causes of dementia, there are several causes or several types of dementia, over 100 by the way. The number one type or the number one cause of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. Typically in the early stages of Alzheimer's, we see recent memory loss. The next largest type of dementia is vascular dementia. And that's usually caused by someone having strokes or several mini strokes or TIAs causing vascular lesions to the brain. Early stages, we typically see issues with executive functioning and making judgment. Then there's dementia with Lewy bodies. We typically see in the early stages issues with executive functioning as well, but they may also have balance concerns. Then there's frontal temporal dementia. Early stages of frontal temporal dementia, we typically see major personality changes, extreme highs and also extreme lows. But when we're talking about diagnosing causes of dementia, it's very important to do a, a full workup. You want to engage the person's primary care physician if they have one, if they don't, they need to get one. Because what needs to happen is the physician needs to rule out treatable causes of dementia and conditions that may mimic Alzheimer's disease or other types. We typically see early stages that a medical practitioner should do lab work, check their blood, uh, they may have a vitamin deficiency, such as vitamin B12. We typically see our older population deficient in vitamin B12. Why vitamin B12? Vitamin B12 is so important because it promotes healthy blood flow. Healthy blood flow throughout the body. If you have healthy blood flow throughout the body, you're going to have healthy blood flow throughout the brain. But if it's not healthy, it's going to cause cloudiness, disorientation, confusion. Other vitamins to look out for, vitamin A, vitamin C, but also vitamin D and vitamin E. All those vitamins aid in healthy brain functioning. We also wanna look at cognitive tests. So your primary care physician or your neurologist should do cognitive tests, more than one by the way, because some people don't test well in the morning. Are you a great test taker? I'm not all the time. Early in the morning, you can forget it. I'm not going to score well at all. And that's why I don't take cognitive tests because I don't want you guys to know that I'm not as smart as you think I am.